Hi viewers, welcome to Feel Your Soul. Thank you for watching. So today's topic is general messages. <laughs> there is no topic, okay? <laughs> Just general messages based on the cards. The messages will be there. Mostly, I don't think you will get trigger messages. If at all you get the trigger messages, also use your intuition and. If you think that messages are matching with you, instead of thinking negatively, try to fix it. Okay, that's how the, we can do our shadow work. Okay, it, triggering messages are nothing but when you get negative messages, it is nothing but here, not just me. No tarot reader want to criticize you or do something negative to you because it is a free. Whomever want to watch, they can watch. They don't want to watch, they can leave. Here, no resistance. Or it is like no. We are not insisting. Or someone is not insisting you to watch the tarot. Okay, it is completely your choice. If you want to watch, you can watch. If you don't want, you can. You don't. No need to watch. It is completely your choice. And moreover, here. I do my own videos I keep 18 years ago. That means 18 years ago people have their own knowledge what to watch, what not to watch. Okay, it is not for kids. So when you are getting some kind of messages which is triggering you instead of telling me that I am guiding wrongly, I am interpreting wrongly, no one can judge. No one have the right to judge. No one have the right to tell how to do tarot. Everyone have different psychic abilities. This tarot is nothing but the tool. Earlier also I said, these cards are just tools. And we read it based on our intuitive messages, whatever we get when we watch that card. It is not that intentional we write some script we won't prepare some script we won't read books maybe basic people will do who don't use intuition just watching readings by the tarot they follow by watching we will get one guidance book they watch so they will see what our card means they will read all the matter we need to understand what our card means based on the situations it is completely different that is the reason why we use intuition so if you if you think that that messages are not resonating with you i always say you have five choices if you don't want also you can leave the channel don't watch if you think that no it is not matching leave it Just when you are watching something, whatever you are doing, keep an open mind. Don't try to fit in a box. Okay, keep an open mind. Free yourself and watch. Whatever it is, it is not just star. Whatever, even one movie when you are watching, instead of fitting yourself in a box, free yourself and watch. You will have your own view. You will get your own perception. When you fit yourself in a box, you want to see the things in that box only. The what box you fit in, you want to see the things in the same that box only. And you you try to you not try to like you expect to match it to your fitting. Everyone is unique. I always say everyone think differently. Even when you are coming to tarot, when I am explaining the things, when I am explaining about the situation, giving the messages. Everyone receive that messages in a different way in their own perception. So not just tarot, whatever you do in your life, don't fit in a box and try to do it. Remove the box. You free yourself and do it. You will get your own perception. You will become. You, you will get that uniqueness. Whatever you are doing, you will get that uniqueness. If you try to fit in a box and do it. You try to do it like someone else who already did it. Then what is the use of doing you? They already did it. So don't try to fit in a box. Even not just in a tarot. Whatever you are, you are doing. Whatever you are watching. Try to keep an open mind. Free yourself and watch. Okay. If you don't like it. Leave it. 
you don't need to judge anyone you no need to tell talk negatively about anyone not just you no one how that right to do it because everyone is free here we are not we are not charging anything to watch the stars we are not it if at all you are taking personal readings then you got anything wrong about you then you can ask it is a general messages it is general readings how can you tell that i this messages are going to match exactly to you most of the people it won't to match some people it will match it is a completely different because it is a general messages general readings don't expect great from the general readings okay keep your expectations low when you are watching general readings if you are going for personal readings then you can expect more because you are you want something accurate for your life for the perfect situation what you are dealing so anyway it's a pick a card reading you need to choose one pile whichever you are drawn so towards you can watch multiple piles also here because it is about general readings so mostly it is motivational i even though when i get negative messages i try to convey it in a positive way that's how i maintain here so you can watch it but if you feel that mostly triggering messages you are getting better you watch only one pile okay when you are watching multiple piles as i always say take some break because your energy is going to mess up if you watch all the piles continuously your energy going to mess up so don't do that take some break between the piles even when i am reading the piles after one pile completing i will take 5 minutes break then i will read other pile i won't continuously do that because that energy clearance is needed okay so let's get into the reading pile number 1 who chose blue pile so pile number 1 what is the general message just for you so pile number 1 here the zodiac signs are scorpio leo and gemini okay scorpio leo and gemini here swords are very dominating air sign also but here based on this gemini is only extra sign i can say so the general messages are stay away from battles any kind of conflicts battles with your own people especially when it is when it comes to group of people whether they are your work colleagues whether they are your family members friends group who you are dealing in the daily daily basis i can say mostly it is dealing with them in the daily basis okay so stay away from the conflicts you may be the winner or you may feel that i have the all the proofs and all i am right in this situation so i can take action so i can uh, win this battle because you have the power you have that uh, proofs and i or i can say that you may be feel uh, strength in that situation you may be feel you are right in that situation so that is also one reason you will boost your ego your ego will ask you to take the action so that you are going to win don't do it okay it's okay sometimes we are right we know that that is enough <laughs> okay it doesn't mean that we are right it doesn't mean that go and fight no need to fight in every situation don't require fighting our mental peace is very important than proving ourselves right so here i think you want to prove yourself that you are right don't do that it is not that when you are not proving yourself people are going to uh, think that you are wrong let them think whatever they are they are going to think because whatever situation you are dealing already people are gossiping about you already people are talking behind your back even in the front also okay you can see or i can say that you came to know about that people are talking some something about you or people are talking about you let them talk don't give importance to all those things because if at all you are right today or tomorrow things will go going to get revealed the truth will come out okay, no matter how much people try to hide or whoever in involved in that situation they try to hide one day today or tomorrow one day definitely the truth will come out and people will see who is right who is wrong and moreover here 
if at all you have any kind of confusion that whether i am right whether i am wrong then you need to clarify to yourself but here i think you 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 are thinking no matter whether you are right or wrong you are thinking that i am right in this situation whatever i am doing it is right then keep it with yourself okay don't try to prove it don't try to show people that you are right don't do anything don't take any kind of action to show that to prove yourself the moment you try to prove yourself that is the exact moment you lo you lose yourself don't do that here this is what you need to do because here i think you are trying to fight or you are already fight fighting with your people or group of people where you want to prove that you are right as i said okay so don't do that stop doing it stop fighting even it is your inner conflict for some time let it be i don't think it is a inner inner battle inner conflict because because people are talking here about this conflicts whatever battle you are going on so don't take anything personally because it is your life matter or it is your situation don't give p uh, power to other people because when you react when you try to prove yourself that is nothing but you are giving power to them don't give that power keep your power be in your power you don't need to prove anything to anyone if you know that you are right that is enough you don't need to prove to anyone so here don't get into any kind of conflicts if at all you are currently dealing when you are watching this reading if at all you are going any kind of fire source energy instead of keep on fighting stop doing it and think what is necessary for you proving yourself right is necessary or keeping your mental peace is necessary why i am telling you other cards are completely different okay so try to stop doing this don't try to prove yourself right in the situation whatever situation you may be in seven of wands nothing but you are trying very hard to prove yourself i am right in this situation that is why i said don't do it stop putting your efforts doing whatever needs to do here you are simply energy you are wasting your energy your time your efforts and moreover you are losing your mental peace don't do it you are simply wasting your energy see how hardly you are trying to prove that i am the right person here i am right in this situation why you are wasting why, why can't you put this energy into something else which will benefit it which will beneficial to you here it is not going to do anything if you try to prove yourself to people also to prove that you are right no one is going to come and give you award kind of thing you know what you are that is enough as i said if at all you are right in this situation today or tomorrow truth will be come out it will come out people will come to know that who you are exactly and no need to prove that is what i said when we try to prove our ourselves when we try to prove some situation or our character that kind of things the moment when we try to prove that is exact moment we are going to lose ourselves don't lose yourself and the next card is eight of swords energy that means completely in the mental stress blocked energy lot of fears lot of insecurities that's why i said stop doing this this five of swords energy is not good in the initial time only you need to stop when you are watching this reading if at all you are in this five of swords energy stop doing it because you are putting lot of efforts to fight with them lot of efforts to prove that you are the right person here or you are the right one or whatever you are telling whatever you want to prove yourself that's it you want to prove yourself that you are right whatever you did that is right don't do it maybe it is right but still you no need to waste your energy efforts to time to prove that don't prove anything to anyone you know it is see knowing ourselves is very important to us if you know once what you are what you are doing that is enough you no need to prove others until unless you are the person who seek validations from others who seek certification kind of thing from others don't do it you no need to do that because you are you are going to lose your mental peace this is nothing but losing your mental peace slowly and ending up ending up with eight of swords energy which is completely blocked energy where you don't know what is happening 
it is completely mental blocks lot of stress lot of anxiety lot of uh, mental blocks what is happening why is it is happening what people are thinking about me why they are thinking about me why you are thinking of no need to do all those things simply drop the thoughts move to the calmer waters leave peacefully i can say or just concentrate on yourself take care of yourself whatever you are doing whatever efforts you are trying to put here to prove yourself put this efforts on your career related matters or on your personal related matters wait showing love taking care of someone if at all you have kids pets whatever or at least put this efforts on your self love okay do that don't invest your energy in the matters which is not not going to bring any kind of success to you or i can say that you won't get any fruitful result use your energy in a proper way if at all if at all you are not going to use your energy for yourself if you if you are going to waste your energy in these things you are going to end up in this state of source energy that means simply if at all you try to be in this situation you want to prove yourself you want to prove that you are the right person you keep on putting if at all you are trying to put efforts trying to do whatever needs to be done to prove yourself right then in the end you are going to end up in this eight of swords energy i don't think anyone want to be in this energy it is nothing but mental imprisonment mentally we feel block that's what i said it is like stress anxiety everything depression and thinking different different thoughts like what they are feeling what they are talking about me why people are thinking about me like me everything don't let all those things affect your brain for that you need to stop here instead of putting this efforts you need to drop all these thoughts think about your mental peace put this efforts on your mental peace okay do something which will make you ha- happy do something which will give you some kind of pleasure or pursue some passion this energy will be used in that way then you will you can avoid this that is what general messages are nothing but it is helpful for us to avoid something which we are doing wrong if at all you are doing something wrong it will help you to see here you are fighting which is making you to lose your mental peace but you are not letting you to give up on this fight you are trying very hard to prove that you are the right but because of that you are going to lose your mental peace and you are going to end up in this eight of swords energy as it is very clear so don't do that if you have lot of energy put that energy into get that mental peace do whatever learn some music listen some music learn some dance if at all you have time learn some dancing classes join some dancing classes join some dancing classes because there you will lose your energy when we dance when we play we lose some energy we use our energy so you will get a little bit of relaxation more our brain will be thinking in a positive way it will get in the positive way here if you try to do this it will get into negative way which will cause all these mental blockages and i don't think here you need to do that. not you and even in this situation we no need to do all those things let them whatever they are thinking let the situation solve by itself because they are our people if at all you think that it is your because five of swords is nothing but dealing with our own people no need to prove anything if you if you want to be in this situation be in this situation if you want these people are uh, uh, if at all you want to be in this situation you need to fight then leave the situation because your mental peace is very important okay So let's move on to pile number two, which is green pile. So pile number two, 
do little messages. So by number two, here the zodiac signs are Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Okay. So here the general messages are you may be having something little in your life as of now. Okay. It is like page of pentacles. Whether it is in the sense of professional life, sense of relationship matters, you feeling that currently, current energy, you are feeling that you deserve more in your life. You are, you deserve more and you are, whatever you are getting as of now, you are not satisfied with it. Because you may be more qualified, but as of now in the current situation, you are getting paid less for whatever work you are doing. So you are feel, feeling disappointed about it so you want to take up more because one coin is not enough for you you want more further you want to it is clear see page of pentacles one pentacle two of pentacles two pentacles so you may be having one job where you are not getting as much money as you are desiring okay i'm giving the example you want more money you, you may be think it is like you may be having multiple talents or you you think that at least you think that i am very talented person i am very educated person i need something big or i i deserve something more this small pay check is not enough for me and for that you want to take some multiple works or multiple projects you are going to accept some multiple project multiple works okay or multiple jobs two jobs at least minimum two jobs because you think that these two jobs can pay you how much you are desiring okay so you want to think i think still you did not took it because you are still feeling disappointed whatever you have in your life you are just thinking about to have this two of pentacles in your life so that you can be happy and you, I think here you are very much confident that you can handle the things. It is two or multiple things. Okay. It is juggling kind of thing. You may be having, you may be accepting lot of projects in your work area, accepting multiple job because you want more money. This person is not happy with one coin. Okay. That is the reason they want to earn more. And because of that earning more money, you are going to take up more projects where you need to juggle juggling means from one job to other job immediately immediately you need to you won't get rest first thing you are going to lose the balance why i am telling like that i will tell you maybe here the thing is if at all you are well experienced person then you can handle this two of pentacles that is nothing but juggling whether it is in the relationship matters, whether it is in the work and uh, professional matter, work and personal life matter, or whether it is having, dealing with multiple projects at a time. We need a lot of focus. We need a lot of uh, energy. And uh, it is kind of experience also needed. That observation, that focus, very important. This focus is very important. We need, we should not get distracted by anything. Then only we should accept multiple things, multiple projects. That's how we can handle, we can juggle from one thing to other thing. But here, I think you do, you are not that qualified or you are not that good at multitasking don't take it in a negative way maybe see everyone will feel that okay if at all i have some job now i am doing it okay but i need more money because i have more talent but here i am getting paid very less so i want to take up one more job and i can handle it that is normal we all feel but here you are not that matured i can say or you are not that focused to handle the multiple things or juggle the things are multitasking it, work related or anything it is like simple as simple as you are not very good at handling your professional and personal life but you want to do it so you want to take up some job because 
in as a professional uh, as a homemaker you are not getting much you are not getting any money a little bit money you are getting by savings and all you want to take up one more professional job where you can earn money for yourself so you want to handle both the things this family as well as profession you took up the job because you thought that you can handle but here in your reading the message is you need more focus you need more maturity i can say why i am telling you this if at all you want to juggle the things this wheel of fortune is in the reverse that means you are going to lose everything how you are going to lose everything as simple as say, as i said if you are only handling your family matters and you are saving money we will do it homemakers also do that my mom do that okay <laughs> they save money and you you thought that no i want more money so you went to job and uh, you felt that i can handle family and uh, as well as my profession but by juggling that you you never get you won't get time to yourself time for yourself where you can relax where you can take care of yourself and because of that that overworking handling multiple things at a time because of that you are going to lose your health that weakness will be there that energy will be you are going to lose your energy which will make you to weak become weak physically and uh, when it become physically weak it will create some mental stress also so in all the areas of when we are not feeling healthy energetic what will happen everything will be at collapse we can't take care of our family as well as we cannot take care of our profession when we are healthy then only we can handle anything whether it is a profession whether it is a family whether it is our self when we are unhealthy when we are when we caught up with some health issues some illness we cannot take care of ourselves also we need someone to take care of ourselves so that is what i hear it is there is a chances it is not that it is going to happen it is a chances that is also one reason i am not telling that settle with this uh, it is not that just be happy with whatever you have at least as of now whatever you are getting it is not making you happy you are feeling disappointed because you are desiring more maybe you may be having lot of talent but as of now you are getting very less pay don't worry L- wait for some more time earn experience or at least learn in this place only when you are holding one coin when you are getting little pay only try to handle multiple things multiple multitasker try to do multitasking thing at in your same job once you get experience if you are a homemaker you are you want to earn money now by going job by going to office or work in that case instead of going to work try to take some project which you can do at home where you can take care of your home if at all you have kids kind of thing you can take care of your kids as well as you can spend time on this project whatever project you take up okay plan in that way initially even though you are not getting much pay also try to do that because here you are going to learn how to at least you are get some kind of routine schedule you can plan some routine schedule okay this time to this time i can do this so you will get that clarity then you can do whatever you want if you want to take multiple things also you can do it but as of now the general messages are don't try to juggle with the things whatever area of your life try to work with one thing or try to work with only which how much you can handle don't try to take up more than what you can handle okay don't take everything if it all see when you are get, when you are getting opportunities also in your life don't try to go and try to grab all the opportunities you are not going to satisfied or not going to get successful in anything if you do in that way see all the take the note of all the opportunities prioritize which is good which is whatever your requirement based on that requirement you can prioritize so that you can find out the first priority second priority then you can decide 
how much you can handle and then you can only take that opportunities it is not that you are having multiple opportunities around you so that i can grab everything i can handle it don't do that okay because here you are going to lose your focus because of your distractions your focus your inexperience i can say because of that because already some storm is happening in your life maybe there are some other issues as are going on in your life but still you want to take up more projects or take up multitasking things kind of thing don't do that okay as of now at least for some time after watching this reading after getting these messages take some time okay before taking multiple projects ask yourself can you ready to handle all these things okay if at all you get okay you have proper plan proper routine then you can take it but mostly here the message is don't try to juggle with the things because you are going to end up in a bad fortune that means you are going to lose everything wheel is in the reverse see we all take up projects more than what we can do is to get this fortune so that we will get money immediately most of the people do that we will get lot of money so that we can become fortunate very soon whether it is a mostly work related area it happens but don't do that because you are going to lose everything as i said when you are when you get tired when you lose your energy when you feel weak when you cut off with illness because of all that extra work not taking care of yourself no breaks what will happen illness will happen. you will get illness when you are ill you cannot take care of your family take care of you and take care of take care of profession or whatever projects you are going to take okay so here the message is don't juggle with the things okay whatever you have as i am telling wait for some more time whatever you have i am not telling that be happy with that stay in that place only for some time okay after that based on in your experiences are at least when you are trying to take multiple projects also prepare yourself mentally physically as well as as i said you need to prepare some kind of schedule so that how much it is in that schedule you should have one hour or two hours for yourself for taking care of yourself because when you are healthy then only you can complete whatever you have in your hands when you are not healthy no one can help so that kind of energy so here the message is don't juggle with the things okay no matter how disappointed you are feeling in this situation by having this one of pentacles be in that situation okay don't try to juggle as at least for now don't try to juggle with the things or else you are going to end up in this wheel of fortune in the river that is nothing but losing everything you are going to lose that one pentacle also so let's move on to pile number 3 who choose white pile so pile number 3 general messages So, pile number three. We will choose white pen. Here, the zodiac signs are Scorpio, no Pisces, Cancer, and Taurus. No Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Taurus. Okay. So, here the messages are. I think recently you came out of from this four of cups energy, which is good thing. Four of cups energy is nothing but not accepting anyone's love, just not thinking about love kind of. relationship law kind of things because you may be dealing with something in your life which is not allowing to accept anyone's love or which is not allowing to think about love and our relationship and all matters okay but now you came out of that energy i think in the currently when you are watching this reading you are very much open to accept the love or i can say that you are very much open to uh, for the relationship if you want to if, if it, here it is like a single person if you want to enter into the relationship in the past you are not ready because of your own issues it is nothing to do with anyone because everyone around you is very loving and caring even you are you had lot of opportunities people are offering love maybe 
you even you are not in a right mood also people are offering their cup of love to you but because of your own issues you are unable to see that cups and accept that cups but now you came out of it whatever may be the reason that's a good sign that you finally came out of that sadness where you are not looking at love finally you are ready for the relationships or at least open to love kind of things deeper relationships i can say into emotional relationships but here the thing is someone is it is knight of cups you may be expecting love from someone <laughs> now i don't know for whom you are expecting you may be after coming into this energy you are open to the relationship matters you want to have love and relationship emotional connections in your life but here you are expecting that cup of love from someone specific which is knight of cups which is not a good energy they are like a player i can say they are not a consistent person or i can say that they are not trustworthy this person is not trustworthy they are not honest they are not loyal they simply is like i think i don't know maybe you know this person are you dealt with this person why you came went to four of cups it is depends on your situation but i think you are expecting love from someone who is not worthy of your love are not worthy of your time your energy because this person is not trustworthy they are not loyal they are not honest they are like a player they are like an opportunist i think here you may be expecting something committed because finally you came out of this energy where earlier you were not ready for this marriage emotions low kind of situations but now you came out of it that is also one reason why you may be looking for stable opportunities or stable committed kind of relationship which is very traditional not like flirting see if you, that is what that is what if at all you are looking for flirting fling kind of thing you no need this cups because cups won't appear in flirting and all maybe passion will be there but here you want this cups finally you observed it you understood that this having this emotions having this people around us who can, who love us who take care of us is a good thing so maybe you may be having some different uh, experiences in the past or some incidents made you to think that this love feelings everything they are not good so that is also one reason you did not show any interest towards the cups but now you are ready to do it but either you are expecting this cup from someone or someone is going to come towards you immediately after when you came out of this energy who is not trustworthy don't act i cannot say that don't accept their cup because the thing is here this person is not going to give you what you are looking for the thing is maybe you are looking for long term commitment the marriage kind of thing which is very sacred which is traditional which is having lot of love lot of honesty faith loyalty but here this person is not trustworthy first thing this person their nature is not trustworthy they are not loyal they are coming towards you and they want to offer this cup of love to you that's why i said you may be know this person because here also this cup is there they are offering some cup here also they are offering cup that means when you are in this sad position also they are offering their cup of love to you but because of that not interest so not showing interest towards all these things you did not maybe you just did not notice it that cup now you came out of it that is also one reason maybe this person want to offer you this cup of love or you are also expecting that cup of love because you thought that anyway they are offering but the thing is here this person is, person is not trustworthy person they are not traditional they are here why i am telling you here you are looking for love 
because finally you understood that you want love but here this person is not going to give you what you are looking for that is also one reason i am telling you. this is hierophant is in the reverse this person is not the conventional person they are unconventional person this person may be interested in living in kind of thing or one night stand kind of thing or just it is not flirting but it is like they don't believe in marriages long term commitment maybe or at least they are not ready for it they are not ready for marriage long term commitment this a couples spouses kind of energy they don't not interested in all those things or they don't believe in all those things because hierophant is in the reverse is one kind of not believing all those traditions and uh, uh, that relationships and all those things so now it's completely depends on you but here huh it is completely depends on you what kind of relationship you are looking for because here you are coming out of it so you are obviously understood the value of love and everything but this person is not trustworthy i don't think see if at all you want to go for living in also you should be with a honest loyal person it is a living in it doesn't mean that they can go and fuck with anyone they should be loyal that living in also they should have some loyalty they should be honest not just in that connection in the friendship in the co-workers also when we are working with one group of people so be careful whomever you are accepting or whomever you are entertaining in your life because they are not the person who is worthy of your love and time why why it came in you already dealt lot in your life that is also one reason even though you have lot of people around you who is giving lot of love to you still you did not try to understand all those things because you are feeling something within yourself maybe it is some kind of childhood wound some kind of incident which made you to be in that energy loveless energy even though you have lot of love around you and finally you came out of it that's a great thing you healed yourself you came out of that energy now you are ready for love relationships feeling emotions at least understanding emotions but now you are someone is going to enter in your life who is not trustworthy they are going to break your heart once again because see love friendship whatever it may be if people are not honest it is going to break our heart because connections will be having some kind of emotions feelings no matter it doesn't mean that only lover share that love only uh, wife and husband there is love is love even in our relationship siblings with siblings with parents with kids our own children that trust is important that loyalty is important if we get some if we our own parents betray us it doesn't mean that it is not going to hurt us it is also going to hurt because it is one kind of if they are not honest if they are not loyal towards us it is also going to hurt it will also create some kind of blockage it is not just only your spouse is betray betraying you that is all only going to hurt you or only lover is going to hurt you any relationship any connection because we invest some emotions feelings in that and when you are investing your emotions feelings i always say when you are investing your money if you lose your money nothing will happen you will feel bad for some time you will broke for some time but again you are going to get it because you earn that money you have that capability you are have that knowledge so you can earn it back it won't affect you much other than your financial area materialistic things but when it comes to emotions feelings it is very important where you are going to invest if you invest in a wrong person who is not worthy of your time low or like dishonest people simply you are going to lose everything because it is not just going to destroy your emotional health it is it will going to affect your mental health physical health all the areas of your life will be blocked that effect will be on your pentacles also that means your career so before accepting this offer 
clear about it. I don't think you need to accept because it is completely this person is not honest. As I said, even when you want to be in a living in also, that person should be honest and loyal. You should have some trust. But here, this person is not loyal, not honest. Leave this, whether they are going to get married or not, whether they are not interested in long-term commitment or not. Completely different thing. But first, they need to be loyal. They need to be honest. Whatever they are telling, that trust should be there. So I cannot say that here you should not take up the proposal whatever coming towards you before accepting anyone in your life in the sense of relationship matters before deciding to invest your emotions feelings on someone take some time okay don't rush the things take some time try to read that people whoever whomever you want to invest take some time try to observe them try to read them try to understand them you will understand whether they are trustworthy or not because someone is coming towards you who is not loyal who is not honest okay it is our responsibility to take care of who whom we need to invest so that in future we won't blame anyone including us so don't don't try, it is like see the red flags okay don't try to avoid the red flags because this kind of people come into in our life they will they wantedly and unwantedly they will bring lot of red flags it will come universe will show lot of red flags to us it is our responsibility whether we are going to invest it or not it is depends completely depends on you how strong you are how much importance you give to your emotions how much logical brain you use that is very important if you have that control then you can deal with anyone whether they are uh, cheaters also like players cheaters also you can handle them but you came out of something which is not good finally you came out of it is it is like some kind of healing you had some kind of healing after healing again you are entertaining this kind of people you are going to lose complete trust on these emotions, feelings, love, marriage kind of things. That's fine. Really. Okay, be careful whomever you want to and whomever you want to invest your feelings. Don't try to rush the things in the emotional matters. Okay, take some time. See the red flags. If you think your, if your intuition is telling you to okay to move forward, then only invest. Or else no problem you will get someone else there are so many people on this planet let's move on to pile number four who choose red pile so pile number four messages general messages so pile number four who choose red pile Here the signs are, zodiac signs are Cancerian, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries. There are so many signs because the world card in the reverse. So here, I think you don't want to change yourself or you don't want to see the situation in a different way. You are friends with someone. And you need to end that friendships. Whomever they are. You may be having some group of friends. It is very important for you to end those friendships. Now I cannot say why you need to end. Because this, this three of cups is completely friendship card. Who is like your soul family. Who is like like minded people. Whom you enjoyed a lot. Whom you had a lot of fun. Who is understanding kind of people or who you celebrated with whom you celebrated but it's a friendly card not like family card okay complete friendship card but here you need to end this friendship maybe they are not good for your lifestyle maybe they are not good for you you don't know that maybe as of now in the current situation 
you may be having some friends we who are not good for you but you don't know that maybe they are doing something shit behind your back but in the, uh, you are thinking that they are your friends and you are enjoying a lot with them you are having lot of fun time with them it is like when you go with them when you with them you will have lot of fun it is like partying fun everyone will enjoy friend circle we all do that we when we go out with our friends we enjoy a lot we have we have lot of fun drinks partying if it are not drinks also at least partying enjoying that it is a fun kind of thing that is also one reason we need to have friends nothing wrong in that it is one kind of therapy also <laughs> having friends and having fun going out having fun with them it is a good thing because friends are nothing but who is who can understand us and who can help us if at all we need something we will immediately call our friends because we know that we, we, our friends are going to help that kind of, that's what that's why we keep friends we will have friends friendships from childhood to till our death okay when we become 90 also definitely someone will be there in that age group it is natural as we have family we will have friends also but here i don't know why universe is telling you to actually the cycle is ended here you need to end this cycle with these people whoever they may be how much attached you may be feeling with them how much how much attachment you may be having because why i am telling you is you had lot of fun with them you have you celebrated a lot you may be celebrated your birthdays your anniversaries if at all you were married you, you celebrated your anniversaries birthdays some kind of uh, celebration success celebrations uh, promotion celebration salary hike celebrations we all do <laughs> because when we heard that when we heard that our friend got promoted or when they got salary hike we immediately asked them when is where is the party you enjoyed a lot with them nothing wrong in that it is okay but here the cycle is ended you need to understand that you need to end this cycle now maybe you are going to enter in some other cycle where these people are not going to serve you or these people are not good for you or i can say that see i don't want to talk negative about friends family kind of thing because i have very good friends maybe that is also one reason why i don't want to talk negative about them in my perception at least because some people will tell that uh, it is it not just tell that it will be happen we will have toxic family parents also in parents we will have toxic parents also uh, where they try to kill their own kids kind of thing when i heard but here uh, in my life at least in my personal life i never had such kind of people i have very good people around me they never Uh, try to do harm kind of thing very dangerous harm kind of. they simply try to take advantage of me some people whether it is related to family members or friends they try to take advantage of me because i used to give lot i am a very care giving person loving person so they try to take advantage of that that time i learned how to set the boundaries that's it nothing more dangerous than that that is also one reason i don't tell the dangerous kind of things but i think in your situation here whatever you shared with them you had the timing that is ended you need to accept it and you need to end that cycle that partnerships are over and i think here you are not ready for it you are resisting the change because this two of wands is nothing but accepting person is ready for anything person looking forward to the future person ready for the partnership the person who is holding lot of knowledge lot of courage lot of self confidence but here you are losing everything but don't worry it is it will happen when we lose our friends it is very natural when here i am telling you you are losing your friends it doesn't mean that you are going to fight with them you are telling you are going to tell them that i am not going to talk it is not that kind of ending maybe it is like when i am studying in my campus university campus there i had lot of roommates classmates friends lot of fun i had lot of fun i enjoyed it a lot every minute of it but when completed i need to come out of it <laughs> i cannot say that 
I have good friend, very understanding friend. I had lot of fun, so I want to stay with them. I cannot say. That. I need to come out. Once I completed my MBA, I need to come out. So, for when I am coming out, it is necessary to get apart from these people. That means that cycle is ended. The two year cycle, whatever I had with them, that is ended. You need to do that. You need to accept it. Maybe that is also one reason you are going to feel. See, I am a logical person. Maybe that is also, not now, not in the university when I am leaving school also. Uh, my friends in the farewell party they started crying. I was wondering why these people are crying. I asked my friend why you are crying. Uh, from tomorrow onwards we are not going to meet. And then I said why you are not going to meet if at all you want to see me. Call me. I will come to your home because we are we are living anyway. School means. We are living around the school, that nearby surrounding only. So, you want to watch me? Call me. I will come and uh, meet. Or you can come to my home because we know everyone's home. Why you are uh, crying? I, I really, till now, I did not get that logic. Why people cry when they are leaving something? Because when I am working also, when I resigned in some organization, that person is seventy-five years old. He is not even a young person. They, he is army man. He is retired army, retired army colonel, aged person, seventy five years old. That means they hold lot of knowledge, experience. We cannot even imagine that experience, knowledge, everything. I used to give lot of respect. I respect elders. I used to take care of him also because. They are very old. Seventy-five years means I don't want to give a lot of work burden on them. I am superior, and he is my subordinate. So I don't want to give a lot of burden. So that is also one reason I used to handle some of their work. When I am leaving the organization, I got some other opportunity, so I resigned the job. He started crying. When the moment he heard that I am resigning, I resigned the job. He was. I was really wondered. Okay, when I am in the school, college, they are crying. It's okay because still people are not that mature. They don't understand that why they are crying. He is seventy-five years old. I did not understood why people cry when they are leaving. Because when we are entering, we know that we are going to leave because we are not going to stay there from whole life. Then what is the reason? Are there? It is a seriously still now also it is like. Mr. Why they? It is kind of attachments they form. That is also one reason, maybe. Maybe I never into that kind of attachments. <laughs> I am good at detachments. I think. So here you need to do that, and uh, because of that cycle ending, you are leaving these people. Maybe you are going to some other place. Not that you are fighting with them. Maybe you are going to some other place, other. Uh, Country or other job where you are going to miss these people, these movements, this enjoyment, everything, whatever fun you had, you are going to miss all those things. But it is very necessary because one cycle is ending means one other cycle is going to start in your life. Okay, and because of that, you are going to feel some kind of sadness in your life because this two of ones is nothing but some kind of sadness, some kind of uh, disappointment. Some kind of regenerate, not accepting the truth, kind of thing. That is what I said. Some people cry. Maybe they don't accept the truth. That is also reason why they cry. Because they know that so we we are working for some organization. Everyone knows that we are not going to work there for whole life. We all know that okay, this company is paying us much salary, whatever desired salary we are desiring. That's why we are. In. When we get the better opportunity, we are going to leave the organization. Everyone knows that, but still, that is feelings. Maybe here you are also going to feel that, but don't worry. You no need to keep yourself in that energy. You should be very here. The message is says be confident. Okay, here in, in this message, what I can say is be confident. Okay, be confident. Don't lose your strength. Be strong. Be confident. Instead of Feeling bad, sad about these things. Maybe universe had something good for you. So that is also one reason you need to end this cycle with this friend group, so that you can move somewhere where you can have some different purpose or different work to do. You need to move. So instead of sitting in this energy, 
टू ऑफ मैंस एनर्जी ट्राई टू एक्सेप्ट द रियालिटी ट्राई टू टेक द थिंग्स लाइटली इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग पर्सनली इट इज सी दैट्स वॉट आई सेड इफ एट ऑल यू हैव अ ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो यू कैन स्टिल मीट इन अवेड एज एवरीथिंग इज पॉजिबल वी आर यूजिंग technology where we can talk with anyone we can see them we can talk with them so here i think you need to be think logical because i think here you are losing your logical mind or at least in this situation you are a very logical person but in this situation you are not going to think as a logical person so that is also one reason this message is came out one cycle is ending with group of friends you need to be logical instead of feeling sad bad per taking it personally think logically concentrate on your goals aims ambitions partnerships be ambitious be logical be career oriented how that's how you can come out of this situation i think so at least feelings not situation feelings because it may because you are losing your confidence you are losing your passion you are losing your like losing your focus towards your goals towards your career goals whatever goals ambitions are you are behaving like rigid person who don't want to change who don't, who want to stuck in the same position don't try to do that okay it is a good thing you came to this reading whatever cycle ending in your life it is for your highest good it doesn't mean that they are your friends they won't go anywhere it is natural in our life it is a journey we need to move forward we cannot stuck with the same people for our own life even in our parents in one when time comes we need to leave our parents also we should be we should ready to accept the situations i think for some time you will be in this energy where you feel disappointed demotivated not thinking about your career goals and all maybe you are a very passionate person ambitious person but here because of this uh, ending the cycle ending with friend group you are going to feel this all these feelings but instead of keeping stuck in this energy because you are watching the reading so you came to know that it is going to happen if at all you are not know at least to prepare yourself mentally for this situation okay whatever ending in your life whatever cycle is ending in your life prepare for the situation okay you prepare your brain it is very important maybe i used to do that when i was a kid also i used to tell my brain okay now we are going to link this so that is also one reason i never used to feel the that kind of way because i love my brain it, it listen to me when I, everyone keeps alarm i don't keep alarm i will tell to my brain tomorrow morning 5 o'clock we need to wake up and exactly 5 o'clock i will wake up <laughs> i don't keep any alarm after 5 minutes my mom will come and try to woke me up i i will say i already wake up that's kind of things. so it is controlling your brain having that control over your brain if you then that your brain this is not necessary to think it won't think practice it it will come everyone can do that if you tell your brain this is not important topic we should not think about it you won't think it. your brain won't think about it for that you need some kind of changes also like you should not watch stupid things <laughs> like tv watching tv watching waste things which will affect your brain in a negative way you should not do that you should stay away from all those things then only you should play puzzle games kind of thing which will make your brain sharp try to do that because you are a logical person that's why I'm, i am telling you okay but some cycle is ending with your friend groups friend group groups because we are three people so be prepared for it let's move on to pile number 5 who choose hello pile so pile number 5 Hmm, messages, general messages for you. Okay, this king of pants is. Who is this king of pants? So here, 
पाई नंबर फाइव इधर जोड़े साइन सर लियो पाइसिस लिब्रा आ जजमेंट कैन बी एनी साइन ओके इट इज अ जजमेंट कार्ड इज देयर आई थिंक यू आर डीलिंग विद सम लीगल मैटर्स इन द फिजिकल सेंस इफ एट ऑल यू आर डीलिंग टेक इट आर एस लीव दैट मैसेज ओके हियर द थिंग इज आई थिंक यू आर दिस किंग ऑफ वैंड्स एनर्जी बिकॉज हियर नो वन इज देयर एक्सेप्ट दिस पर्सन सो यू आर वाचिंग so king of hand is very much in the regretful mood that they are okay maybe they have some regrets you have some regrets because you are watching that is you so person who ever this king of hands so at least it is a current energy i can say there is a current energy you are okay like see you are very passionate person very courageous person very confident person but the thing is now maybe i don't know what kind of decisions you made or what kind of actions you took because of that you are feeling regretful now completely depends on your situation if at all you are not feeling regretful maybe very soon you are going to get some truths because the moon card is nothing but revealing lot of secrets you are going to find out lot of secrets and i can say that so many secrets are going to reveal to you now you don't know maybe if at all now you are in a not in a regretful mood very soon your the secrets are going to reveal to you the truths will come out because the moon card is dark card which is hidden and it is in the reverse that means it is going to reveal it will it will come out in the light that kind of energy okay now you are very courageous when you are watching this reading also you are courageous you are passionate you are confident but still i am feeling in that phase some kind of regretfulness okay and regrets some kind of regrets maybe here you made some wrong choices because this person is very mature person so i cannot say that you behave mature <laughs> immaturely so no matter what age you may be you are how you have that maturity but sometimes it happen okay because we believe some people sometimes we believe we trust wrong people it will happen because we need to learn some lessons it doesn't mean that we become 80 years old we need to stop learning the lessons in your 100 years also we need to learn the lesson because that 100 year is new for you okay first time you are living that 100th year first time you are living that 60th year that's how life goes on it won't stop teaching you whether you are ready to learn it or not that's why we always call ourselves as a, as a student we should treat ourselves as a student so that we can open to the learning we should keep that energy student energy within ourselves so here maybe you are a very mature person but they somewhere you did some mistakes or i can say that some not just not mistakes it is kind of wrong decisions wrong uh, or trusting uh, people who is not worthy of your time worthy of your energy worthy of your trust that kind of energy you are feeling regretful for your choices for your decisions for your actions because when is action card so you may be, you may be very action oriented person whatever you did what it happened first thing is it happened okay now you are regretting for it whatever happened but don't worry you are going to get complete truths whatever hidden from you when you are watching this reading the truth will come out no matter what it is maybe there is some secrets you don't know that is also one reason why you are feeling regretful some kind of guilty regretful thing but once you get these truths or hidden things come out you will understand the situation completely and you are going to get your justice or judgment okay you are going to get your judgment justice is one kind of karma karma card but judgment is completely getting our judgment what is right for the situation justice is like karma whether you are uh, you did something wrong you will get wrong bad karma you if you do something good you will get good karma but judgment is getting in your favor that karma is in your favor good thing so here i think you are dealing you may be dealing with some kind of court matters or legal matters 
legal battles you may be going on some legal battles that is also one reason you are feeling this very grateful mode or i can say you may be having regrets about actions and all but don't worry the message is you will get here i can say that you don't know complete truth about the situation whatever situation you are dealing currently when you are watching this reading that is also one reason why you don't have much information or things are still hidden from you that is also one reason you are feeling regretful or you are simply blaming yourself that kind of thing. because this energy is like that they are blaming themselves they are feeling guilty about their actions they are feeling regret about their decisions don't do that because very soon you are going to receive this information which is hidden from you that moon card is in the reverse that means very soon you are going to find out the information which is which you don't have currently when you are watching this reading also maybe you don't have that information okay very soon you are going to get that information and with that information this judgment will come into your favor whatever judgment you may be looking for in from the universe or from the physical court kind of legal battles if at all you are going through any kind of legal battles you are thinking that in that situation in that legal battle you are not going to win because because you did something wrong that is also one reason you are feeling regretful you made some decision which is not good but no need to worry there are some more to the story i can say there is more to the story which you don't know as of now which is behind you so you need to wait for some more time i don't think it will take much time little bit of time so that like till this year end you are going to receive all the information whatever situation you are dealing currently okay till this year end you are going to receive all the information or i can say that if at all any hidden things will be there if at all someone is doing something sneaky you don't know or someone kept some secrets everything will come out into the light and that information help you to get this judgment in your favor that is also one reason i said if at all physically if at all you are facing any kind of legal battles in the physical sense and you are thinking that you are not going to win that battle or you are not going to get that judgment because you are the wrong person in that situation no need to worry there is some more information need to come out and it will come out and you are going to get this judgment in your favor if it is you are not dealing any kind of legal battles then this judgment is completely from the universe maybe someone is hiding lot of things from you or lot of secrets from you they are deceiving you but to you they are presenting they are um, yeah they are presenting like you are the one who is wrong so here that is also one reason maybe you are feeling guilty they are maybe simply telling they are hiding everything and they are simply telling you are the wrong person you did that you are because of your actions it happened because of your uh, uh, decisions it happened they may be blaming you and because of that you are also blaming yourself feeling guilty feeling regretful any situation take the messages as it resonates okay and you are going to know about that secrets very soon because still it is a secrets for you that is also one reason you are feeling regretful but it will come out very soon then it will this information whatever secrets are going to get revealed that will give you this judgment that will help you to get this judgment you are going to get this judgment in your favor so here i can say that uh, don't feel guilty whatever situation you are dealing currently no matter what situation it is don't lose your passion don't lose your courage don't lose your confidence no need to blame yourself no need to criticize yourself no need to feel guilty about the things or no need to feel regretful about whatever choices you made whatever decisions you made okay be strong be courageous be in your power because very soon you are going to get some information i can say hidden information or the secrets are going to reveal to you where you will understand complete situation because using that information or that see whatever that information you are going to get you can get this judgment in your favor okay so i think when you are watching this reading your energy is not in a good energy 
not it is not a very bad energy like criticizing yourself feeling bad sad kind of thing no need to worry very soon you are going to get your judgment so just don't lose your passion okay in this situation the message is don't lose your passion there are so many things need to come out which you don't know that is also one reason you are blaming yourself or criticizing yourself or feeling that you are the main reason why it all happened no need to blame yourself completely there are something more to the story as i said there are some secrets it will going to get revealed to you so which is which are going to help you to get your judgment in your favor you are going to universe is going to serve you this judgment or if at all it is a legal battles you are going to get that judgment in your favor so whatever situation you are dealing be strong don't lose your courage and don't lose your confidence be strong be passionate as i said you need to get some more clarity about the situation because moon card is nothing but not having clarity you are going to get that clarity get that information which will help you to get that judgment so thank you for watching for more readings you can like and subscribe for personal readings you can mail me you will find the details in the description box